Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3! If you watched the Day 2 vlog, the end of it was me putting on a self tan and I showed you how I contour my face and all that stuff. So this is the result. In yesterday's video, it was super dark and extreme and it looked really silly. But now as you can see, it just like faded really nicely and it looks a little bit more natural. And then when I put a little makeup over it, it'll look even better. I can say just putting on a self tan made me feel a whole new level of confidence. Like I feel like I'm ready to take on the day and the weekend and I'm excited to like put makeup on and fix my hair and I haven't felt excited to do that in a few days because I was just so pale. So yeah, it feels good. I tried a new technique with my Dyson that I saw on TikTok and I don't think my hair liked it. Like this side is just not really working. This one's kind of cute, but yeah, that was kind of a waste of time. Also though my hair is dirty and there's a lot of product in it, which I thought actually would help it hold, but I don't think it did in my case. So I'm gonna go in with my air out tool and see if I can fix this a little. Did that make it better or did that make it worse? Uh, I think it looks good now. I'll be fine. Whatever. Now that I spent entirely too much time on my hair, I'm going to rush through my makeup. Before I get started with work for the day, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I just got these trousers from Amazon. They're navy blue and they're such good quality. I'm actually so impressed. Can't really see the bottom, but I've got New Balance 550s. And this shirt is from Cuts, which is, in my opinion, the best really high quality, thick, basic t-shirt I've ever tried. I'll put this one in the description too, but it's just it's really good like the quality is good it reminds me kind of of lululemon and something to note on these trousers if you're interested i'm 5'3 and they fit me perfectly so if you're shorter than 5'3 they have an option that's even shorter it's a petite version so there is something that would work for you but then if you're taller than 5'3 i would say if you're over like 5'5 five five, they're probably gonna be too short i feel like the flow of all my youtube videos is i Get ready in the morning i like talk or show things or whatever and then i show you my outfit and then i cut and then i, I come back and i'm like okay it's five o'clock now i just got done from work <laughs> or I just got done with work because <sighs> that's actually my life so i'm i'm just sharing my actual real life here not every single day of vlogmas will be like that it's just been a really busy week with my job. Some weeks are super busy and some weeks are really laid back. I'm hoping that as we get closer to Christmas, it, it gets a little bit less hectic and I can like vlog a little bit more during the day. We've intentionally planned like fun things to do over the course of the next few weeks. So that way, whether I get out in the middle of the day or I get out of the house in the morning or whatever it is, we're, get, we're leaving the house. I'm not just in my home vlogging all day, every single day. I don't wanna do that personally. And I know you don't want to probably see that either. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally eight o'clock and I'm still sitting at my desk from work. I did take a break a little bit earlier and do some of my like TikTok stuff and made some videos and things like that. But then I went right back to my desk and kept working. It's a really riveting Friday night, you guys. I actually planned on doing something fun. I was going to get my nails done today. I was going to go to Target and I was going to go to Starbucks. And I wanted to end my work day at 3.30, but here we are, 8 o'clock, and I didn't. I will say, pretty much, it's never like this, like on Fridays. Usually I do get to end a little bit early. But since I worked so late today, and I haven't been getting good sleep, like I've been complaining about in literally all my vlogs, I think I'm just going to have a self-care night, because I feel like that's what my body just needs. I don't exactly know what that is going to entail yet. I'm just going to play it by ear. 
for like two hours from eight to 10. I'm just gonna try to do things that, that feel good physically, mentally, and have a little bit of a self-care night and just like let my brain rest. This might not make any sense, but this is how I feel right now. Do you ever have like a laptop, maybe it's like an older one or whatever, or you're processing something big like a file or a video and you can hear the fan and it like gets really hot on the bottom and it, people always say like it sounds like my laptop's about to like take off because it just sounds really loud and like it's it shouldn't be loud like that. That is how I feel like my brain is right now. Like literally behind my eyes feels like hot. This probably makes no sense to most of you, but I'm hoping at least one person can be like, yeah, I feel that way too sometimes. Just like, I probably my, I probably just have eye strain from staring at the computer screen for so long. My head just feels heavy just from like the week and sitting at my desk and stuff. So I'm really excited to like do something for myself tonight. And this is your reminder too. I know that the holiday season is really busy and it's not as exciting for everyone as it is for me. And a lot of people find it to be a really hard, really tough season. And this is just your reminder, whether you're having a good day or a bad day, a good week or a bad week, like make sure that you take time for yourself and do something tonight that makes you happy and makes you feel good and lets your brain just rest. Whether that is reading a book or just like being quiet and just being with yourself in your own head. Or maybe you just need to watch a Hallmark movie. I don't know. just interrupted my cute little speech. One thing that I wanted to share since it's the very beginning of the month that I am obsessed with and it's, I'm actually shocked that I haven't shared this online yet because this is like one of my favorite things ever. There's this website slash blog called The Every Girl and for years I've been using their tech backgrounds because they come out with new ones at the beginning of every single month. So every month has a new tech background. They give you a bunch of options. Some are like festive, some are neutral, some have words. They're just so cute. And when I tell you that I have been doing this for years, I mean like, I mean probably three years I have been changing my background every month to the new monthly backgrounds from the every girl. I'll put them in the description actually. I'll link the ones for December because I think they're so cute. But here is what my background is right now. So they also give you options for your main screen, your second screen, your phone screen, your iPad screen. They have so many options. This is one that I picked for December because I just thought it was like super cozy and it just felt really good in my office. I usually go for the neutral ones anyway. I kind of wish I could like show you all the rest right now, but anyway, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Go look at them because they are so cute and it just like brings me joy every time I open my computer and I see these cute little backgrounds. So if you're into that and like organization, productivity, tech backgrounds, whatever, you are gonna love this. This is actually a great time to talk about my office because I really need y'all's help. Basically, we moved in here in July and I didn't have an office before we moved into this house. And I, to this day, like, I haven't really decorated it. I haven't put much effort into it. I want my office to be like a cozy place that I go in and I, it feels clean and organized and I feel inspired. And right now it's just like a mess and just like a collection of things. Like it's kind of just where things go when they don't have a place. And a lot of the stuff in here is just like, old like I haven't put a lot of thought into the decor at all I have rearranged it a couple times but I'm still not like totally happy with it so let me know what y'all think we're gonna do a little tour hi Jonah she's always in my office all right so you walk in and it has these two big windows which are really nice during the day especially because it's the front of our house and it gets really good light and then the back wall is the double doors to the closet and then the door that we just entered in. So the hard part is I only have this wall and this wall that I can do anything to. So right now I've just got my desk over here because I really wanted it to be out of the way so that I could film other places in the room. I also have like pulled it out at one point and had it turned around this way. And I also liked how that looked, but it took up a lot of space. So I'm not quite sure if I want to do that again. This shelf is really cute. People ask me about it all the time. It's actually an antique thrift store find. It was like $50. And there's one that looks very similar in Urban Outfitters for $800. So that was a steal. I put the mirror over here the other day just to get it out of the way for something. And then I was going to put it back. 
But then I started taking outfit photos over here and I don't know, something about it I just really love. Like I like the white here, the black behind me, the clean wall back there. It's just a good place to take outfit photos. And because the window is right here, it gives me like really good light. So I know it's not really ideal, but it's kind of what I've been doing. And then I've got this rug that I got on Amazon. I'll link all this stuff in the description if I can find links to it, but this is a really cute rug from Amazon. You can kind of see it's like jute. And the reason that I like it is because it doesn't shed, which all other jute rugs that I've ever had have been shedding rugs. Here on the big blank wall, that is a chair that I don't want anymore, but I just haven't gotten rid of it, so it's still here. I'm gonna get rid of it when I replace it with something or if I replace it with something. And same goes with that little lamp behind it. So my question for y'all is, number one, what do I do with my desk? Should I leave it where I had it on against the wall? Should I put it in like a corner somewhere? I don't think there's any corners I can put it in. Should I scoot it over away from the mirror so they can both be on the wall? Never mind, then I can't open the closet door. See what I mean? Should I put my desk on this wall? and like kind of push it over to the side. My other thought is, what do I do with this wall? So if my desk is not on this wall and it's where it is right now, I still kind of want something back here just because like this side of my room where my desk is, is really busy. This side of the room is very empty and it doesn't feel balanced to me when I'm in here. But I also love having this background to be able to like shoot videos and all that stuff on. So I'm thinking that maybe I could do something like in between something really simple and neutral not too big to where it will make the room feel more crowded so let me know what you think one option that i have been considering is two chairs maybe white or cream with no dark wood on there so like maybe like um i think it's called boucle or something but maybe like two chairs that kind of face together maybe a little mini like sofa but like a nice really nice like cb2 one um, I also have considered just getting rid of everything on that wall and just putting the big arch mirror there and having nothing else over there and just making it really simple. But then the problem with that is I don't like if I took a picture in the mirror, then my desk is in the background. So I feel like I should probably hire a professional for this because clearly I'm not coming to any answers on my own. If y'all have any ideas, let me know. I would love, love, love any recommendations and like... Any ideas that you have or things that you think would look good in here, let me know. Max has made the yummiest dinner. Oh, is that my bowl? No, that's my bowl. Oh. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed for my like cozy self-care night. Gonna grab my Kindle and read while I'm taking a bubble bath. I'm feeling so nice and zen and relaxed and just like ready to go to bed. I haven't had my phone with me this whole time. I like took a bubble bath and read a couple chapters of a book. I put my phone away so that I wouldn't like watch TikToks or YouTube videos or anything like that and I could just like turn my brain off and it felt so nice. So I'm just getting ready to actually go to bed now and I realized I've never shared with you guys my like hair care routine. Like obviously I share skincare and makeup and beauty and like hair products, I guess. But now that it's getting colder and drier, I notice that my hair has a really hard time staying hydrated. Like my hair will feel really dry, my scalp will feel dry and stuff like that like in the winter. And tomorrow is definitely a hair wash day for me. So I'm actually gonna go in with my like hair scalp treatment and my ends treatment and sleep in it so that tomorrow when I wake up I can take a shower and my hair will be pretty healthy. So this is the product that I use. I actually just get it at Target, but I'll link it in the description. They have a lot of other products too that um, my sister uses. She's actually like really into scalp health and hair health and all that. And she uses like a lot of their products, but I definitely know that this is a good one. Sometimes before I take a shower, I'll just put it on my scalp and let it sit for like 10 or 15 minutes. But I haven't done it in a while because I kind of forgot about it for the last like month. 
So I'm actually gonna put it on my scalp and leave it in there for the whole night. It's so simple, like I just go in lines through my hair, through my scalp, and then I just rub it in. And now I just massage it in all over my scalp. If you're sleeping in this, there's a really good chance that it is gonna get on your face a little bit somehow, whether it's from your hands or whether it's from the pillow. Like, unless you wear a shower cap over it at night, it's probably gonna get on your skin a little bit. So I, I just always recommend with stuff like that to make sure you test like a patch on some sensitive skin on your body just to make sure that like you're not allergic to it or something because that would be tragic if you woke up one morning and like had an allergic reaction on your whole head or on your face or something. Anyway, because I have so much dry shampoo in my hair, I honestly feel like the dry shampoo is kind of like soaking some of it up. So I had to use a little bit extra. Also, this is just feels so good. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell on camera, but my ends just feel really dry today. There's also quite a lot of product on them. So I'm going to put this on the ends of my hair as well so it can sit overnight. It is like pretty thick, so just, it's going to be super heavy. I would never like put this in my hair and then um, style it. Except maybe like a slick bun. I might do that. Oh, it smells really good too. Okay, now I'm just trying to brush it out. Wow, look how smooth and like silky. <laughs> I just braided my hair so that the oil doesn't get all over my face while I'm sleeping. And we are ready to go to bed. This has rosemary and mint in it, so it smells a lot like rosemary, but you like feel the coolness of the mint on your scalp, and so it feels so good. I'm pretty sure rosemary is supposed to make your hair grow. I know a lot of girls put rosemary oil around here whenever they have like postpartum hair loss or if they just want to like thicken their hairline. Good night, Kona. See, we'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4. Oh! <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4. Bye!